Absolute infinity is a concept that explores the idea of an all-encompassing, limitless reality or existence. It has been discussed and studied in both mathematics and philosophy, with mathematicians like George Cantor introducing the notion of different sizes or cardinalities of infinity, while philosophers have pondered its implications for understanding the nature of reality and consciousness. Absolute infinity represents the idea of an infinite and boundless realm that transcends human comprehension and encompasses all possibilities. The concept of absolute infinity has been interpreted and discussed by various philosophers and mathematicians throughout history, and therefore there are many interpretations of it in various fields of studies. In philosophy, the expression of absolute infinity is the Hegelian absolute, which is referred to as the central concept in the philosophical system of George Wilhelm Friedrich Hegel, a German philosopher of the 19th century. Hegel's philosophy is often referred to as absolute idealism or dialectical idealism. According to Hegel, the absolute is the ultimate reality or the highest form of consciousness that encompasses and transcends all particular forms and contradictions within reality. It is an all-encompassing unity that reconciles and integrates opposing elements and ideas. The absolute for Hegel is not a static or fixed entity, but a dynamic and evolving process. It represents the culmination of human thought and history, where the contradictions and conflicts inherent in reality are resolved and synthesized. Some mathematicians and philosophers hold the view that mathematical objects and concepts exist objectively and independently of human thought. This view is known as the mathematical Platonism, and from this perspective, Absolute infinity represents the realm of mathematical objects and possibilities that extend infinitely beyond our finite understanding. Georg Cantor, a mathematician known for his work on set theory, introduced the concept of absolute infinity as an extension of his exploration of different levels of infinity. According to Cantor, there are different sizes or cardinalities of infinity. He defined the smallest level of infinity as Aleph Null, represented by the symbol given on the screen. Aleph Null represents the cardinality of the set of natural numbers. Cantor showed that the set of natural numbers is countably infinite, meaning it can be put into a one-to-one -one correspondence with the set of positive integers. However, Cantor also discovered that there are higher levels of infinity beyond Aleph Null. He introduced the notion of uncountable infinity, represented by the symbol Aleph 1 and subsequent symbols, Aleph 2, Aleph 3, and so on. These higher levels of infinity represent the cardinalities of sets that are larger than the set of natural numbers and cannot be put into a one-to-one -one correspondence with the set of positive integers. According to Cantor's theory of cardinality, there is no cardinality larger than his concept of absolute infinity. Cantor's hierarchy of cardinalities extends to different levels of infinity, with each level being larger than the previous one. However, absolute infinity represents the highest level of infinity in Cantor's system, and there is no cardinality beyond it. Therefore, within Cantor's framework, there is no larger cardinality than absolute infinity. Cantor's work on absolute infinity challenged the prevailing notion that there is only one size of infinity. He showed that there is an infinite hierarchy of different sizes of infinity that can be expressed in terms of cardinalities. Cantor's exploration of absolute infinity faced significant resistance and controversy during his time. Some mathematicians and philosophers struggled to accept the idea of multiple levels of infinity, and Cantor's work faced criticism and skepticism. However, his ideas on infinity and set theory eventually gained recognition and had a profound impact on the development of mathematics in the 20th century. Cantor's work laid the foundation for modern set theory and our understanding of different sizes of infinity.
absolute infinity in various mystical and religious traditions is associated with the divine or the ultimate reality that is beyond human comprehension. It represents the infinite and eternal nature of the divine, often referred to as the absolute or God. In cosmology and physics, Absolute infinity is sometimes understood as the idea of an infinite universe or space-time. It suggests that the universe has no boundaries or limits and extends infinitely in all directions. Whereas some spiritual or mystical traditions interpret absolute infinity as a transcendent or divine reality that exists beyond the physical realm. It represents an ultimate source of infinite wisdom, love, or consciousness. Like this, there are many more interpretations of absolute infinity which are either in support or against the existence of absolute infinity, such as the epistemological interpretation, moral or ethical interpretation, ontological interpretation, psychological interpretation, metaphysical interpretation, mathematical constructivism, evolutionary interpretation, multiverse interpretation, etc. But the ones which are important in power, scaling related debates, are the Hegelian absolute, Cantor's absolute infinity, the cosmological interpretation, and the spiritual and theological interpretations of absolute infinity.